Gone are the days, when tigers ruled the forests of Asia, during the late Holocene and Pleistocene epoch. They had lived in large numbers on the Indonesian islands of Sumatra Bali and Java. However, in the 20th century, these big cats disappeared from all the major habitats in Western Asia. Prominent among the causes was human hunting at a massive scale. During 1940s, tigers were hunted to extinction on Bali Island, followed by Java and Caspian Sea. Over the time, as the human population grew in numbers, they destroyed tigers' habitats. As it turns out, tigers not only fell short of prey, they were also forced to leave their wild habitats. There are now less than 5,000 tigers remaining in the wild. Study suggests that, captive tigers have outnumbered the wild tigers. Today they live in Southeast Asia, but the northern species are found in the southeastern Siberia. In this video, we will discuss, where do tigers live? You are going to discover the natural habitat of tigers, and where each of its species found. Tigers make homes in habitats, that are abundant in dense vegetation and water. They prefer vegetation because it provides them sufficient cover. Besides the stripes on the tiger's coat allow it to hide in tall grass. In the northern India and Nepal, tigers rely on tropical rainforests with tall grasslands, including dry evergreen forests, mixed deciduous forests, and mangrove swamps of Sundarbans. In Thailand, Tigers make homes in the dry Dipterocarp forests. In the Russian Far East, they occupy boreal and temperate forests. They find cover in reed jungles, mountain forests, and riparian thickets in the Middle East. Tigers are not really demanding in habitat selection. Sometimes, they live in habitats even where the prey is scarce. This shows that the prey density is not the deciding factor in choosing their habitats. Now let's see, where do different types of tigers live in the wild? Where do Bengal tigers live? Bengal tigers are the greatest in numbers. They make up two-third of the entire tiger's population. They live in the Indian subcontinent. Bengal tigers' habitat consists of tropical dry forests, mangroves, temperate upland forests, subtropical moist deciduous forests, alluvial grasslands, and moist evergreen forests. Previously, these tigers occupied a vast land of grassland along the Brahmaputra plains, but today they rely on agricultural lands or degraded habitats. In India, they live in various national parks and reserves. These parks include Panna National Park, Hazarabar National Park, and Arissa Dry Forests. They prefer moist deciduous forest in Indravati Tiger Reserves, Kanya Pench, and Simlapur. Where do Siberian tigers live? Siberian tigers live in the Russian Far East, where it is found in the southern Khabarovsk Krai and Primorsky Krai. Siberian cats are also called Amur tigers because they live south of the Amur River. The eastern Manchurian mountain is 500 to 800 m, 1,600 to 2,600 feet, above sea level, and it is also home to Siberian tigers. The eastern Siberian tigers make homes in coniferous deciduous forests, while the northern subspecies rely on the boreal complex. These tigers like to live in the Korean pine broadleaf forests, and less likely to survive in the spruce fir forests. Besides dense vegetation, these tigers also prefer to have large hollow trees and caves in their habitats. In the Sikataeline Mountains, these tigers can prey musk deer, sika deer, and Manchurian moose. The prey density is high at the central Sikataeline Mountains. Where do Milan tigers live? There seems to be no clear division between the range of Indo-Chinese and Malayan tigers. Malayan tigers are distributed in the southern Thailand and northern Malaysia. They had disappeared from Singapore as early as in 1950s. 
The Last Milan Tiger was shot in 1932. Milan Tigers are thought to make homes in vegetation fields and riparian forests in Pahang, Kelantan, and Johor. They also live near South China Sea. These tigers range includes Malacca, Putrajaya, and Kuala Lumpur. Where do Sumatran tigers live? Sumatran tigers are not concentrated in a particular area. They have scattered population. They live on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Sumatran tigers have varied habitats, ranging from coastal lowland forests to as high as 3,200 meters above the sea level. In the Gunung Lusa National Park, these tigers live in the mountain forest at 10,500 feet high. Where do South China tigers live? South China tigers were once widespread throughout South China, covering 2,000 kilometers. They used to live in large numbers in Jiangxi and Zhejiang provinces. In 1950s, there were 4,000 South China tigers before they were hunted to extinction. 30 years later, only 150 to 200 tigers remained in the wild. Today we do not know how many South China tigers are living in the wild. Where do Caspian tigers live? The Caspian tiger is an extinct species. It lived around the lake edges and river basins of the Caspian Sea. Its natural habitat was in lowland forests of Talish Mountains and Prishib. In the northwestern Iran, they had lived on the Zangazu Mountains. Where do Indo-Chinese tigers live? The Indo-Chinese tiger occurred in Thailand, Vietnam, Myanmar, Laos, and Cambodia. Thailand hosts the largest population of these tigers. The historical range included China, but today these tigers no longer live in the Chinese provinces. The last of the Indo-Chinese tigers in China was killed in 2009. Indo-Chinese tigers make homes in a variety of habitats, such as mangroves, hills, grasslands, mountains, and forests. Other habitats include evergreen forests, subtropical dry broadleaf forests, tropical rainforests, and deciduous forests. In Thailand, tigers live in the subtropical moist broadleaf forests. Where do Jovan tigers live? Jovan tigers was found in Java in the 18th and 19th centuries. They were killed to extinction by local people in mid-1850s. Joven tigers used to make habitats in mountains and forests. Their habitats were also found at an altitude of 1,192 meters on Mount Paturi, which was the highest peak in Java Island, Indonesia. That's all for now. Do like the video if you have learned something new in it. Subscribe to our channel for more such amazing and informative videos.